Hi, I'm Mrs. James. I've just finished marking about 300 papers for A-level computer science with AQA. These were paper ones, so these were the on-screen programming paper, and I quite enjoyed it. However, there were lots of mistakes that students made that I really felt I needed to share um, so that next year's students and the coming year's students will not make the same mistakes again. So coming up is um, a brief overview with various tips that you could use for your upcoming paper one exam and so that you can maybe scrape one or two extra marks that you po possibly might have missed and um, hopefully have some good success with this exam. Here we go. Here are some general tips. You will almost certainly run out of time. You should know your strengths. Are you good at theory, but shaky at programming? Well, make sure you know your definitions of the theory terms, e.g. data structures, and you can quote definitions verbatim. Are you good at programming, but share it shaky at theory? Well, you could skip ahead to section B and D, if you're not sure of the skeleton code, well, you'd be crazy to have not spent a good while looking at it, but concentrate on sections A and B and make some educated guesses on the rest. If you're confident with the skeleton code, you could consider just doing sections C and D first, as together they're worth the same amount of marks as A and B. Look at the number of marks a question is worth. Don't write an essay if it's only worth two marks. In fact, don't write an essay for any question on paper one. Consider writing in bullet points, e.g. five bullet points if it's a five mark question. Attempt every question, but do watch for silly syntax errors more later. Here are some specific tips. If you're asked about adding or removing an element to or from a data structure, just talk about the steps for that. There's no need to explain first in, first out structures and static data structures, just the steps of how an item is added or removed. Hint, pointers don't move, you increment or decrement them. Time complexity doesn't increase or decrease for an algorithm as it gets more or less inputs. Time does. Copy and paste the text into the programming answer box, but screenshot the tests. Also learn how not to show a black background when pasting text. It's very hard to read and to mark. Show complete screenshots. If you're writing a validation routine, show the fact that the correct value is accepted and the program then moves on to the next section. Do the steps that the test question actually asks for. Don't make up your own words or numbers to test the program. If the question asks you to see player two's score, keep going until it's players two's go. Design marks are given in section B for the general algorithm design, regardless of whether the program actually works. You don't get these for section D. Here are some Python tips. In Python, random.randint function is inclusive and you could lose marks if you show an incorrect range. I'd also suggest learning some useful functions in Python like sum, min, max, ord and count. They could be useful. If you're asked to state an identifier or a function name, just put the name, no brackets, no parameters after, no underscores at the start if it's private or protected. When creating functions, and the question asks you it, to take a parameter, do you make sure that your function declaration has that parameter? When you're creating methods in a class, don't forget that the first parameter is always self. And when you're creating a child class, and there's almost always a question in section D to do this, make sure that you put the name of the parent class in brackets after the name of the class. And there we have it, a handful of tips that may or may not help you, but hopefully will get you a few extra marks in the final exam to ensure your success. Good luck.